You know, only ExxonMobil can make 11 billion bucks on sales of 117 billion dollars and be considered a disappointment. Wall Street expected more. Some in Congress can't take any more. Profits like that, they say, are beyond the pale, so they want to tax the whole pale. A windfall profits tax that Hillary Clinton says would go a long way toward helping vital services in this country. Take a listen to what she told Bill O'Reilly last night. I do want a gas tax holiday, but to pay for it by putting a windfall profits tax on the oil companies. Now, what does that mean, though? Well, what, here's what, what that it, mean? Now, look, what it means is that the oil companies have made out like bandits. Right. You know that. Record profits. We all know that, yeah. right? And there is no basis for them to have these huge profits. They're not inventing anything new. So but what do you do? Take 20% of their profits away you, from you, them? You set a baseline, and above that baseline, you begin to tax their profits. Yousef Rob agrees with this. He says a tax on all companies' profits would help us all out. Chris Nelder, on the other hand, says that it would only make us more dependent on oil. He is the co-author of Profit from the Peak. So, Yousef, I mean, you're telling the oil companies who in the last few years have been making a lot of money, leaving out the times when they weren't making a lot of money, um, we're going to put a cap on your money. Um, what does that say to other companies that make a lot of money or as a percentage of profits or percentage of revenues make a lot more money? Well, what this proposal does is seek to alleviate some of the immediate and severe price increases that American families are seeing from outrageous gas prices that are driving outrageous profits. It's time that uh, I think the oil companies can afford to give a little bit to those consumers who are pumping their product into their tanks. What's more important, though, is Hillary Clinton's support for rolling back tax breaks on oil companies and investing that in alternative well, energies. Well, I see, no, we you have to I see your point about getting rid of subsidies. I see your point about getting rid of subsidies and tax breaks for an industry that's making a lot of money. Sure. But I think it is a slippery slope, my friend, for you to start judging what is enough money versus too much money. Because as soon as you start doing that, you're going to go willy nilly to other companies or industries that make a lot of money, and you're going to be the arbiter. I don't know if I want that. Well, I'm not going to be the arbiter. The American people and their like no, 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 no. The, the American the people and, aren't and signing up for decide. tax people's profits. What, what? What is this, Russia? The American people want relief from outrageous gas prices. And by the way, we were just talking about uh, the food crisis uh, around the world. A lot of that is driven by fuel prices that increase the transportation that get passed on uh, to the consumer. All right, so as well you want to see this. Chris, you're, you're, you're worried like about this. Explain. Well, I feel that it's most important to maintain oil production as much as we can going forward because thanks to peak oil, we are looking at the second half of the age of oil now where oil becomes much more expensive and much more difficult to produce. So if we disincentivize the oil companies by taxing their profits, which they're desperately going to need in order to invest in future production, then I don't think we're doing ourselves but Chris, any favors. Does that, have, does Chris, does Yusuf have a, a, a crucial point here? They're, they're not doing enough with the profits they have. In other words, if the argument is, all right, uh, be incentivized with all the money you're making to do something with that and pour it back into finding more oil, and they're not doing that to the degree you think they could or would or should, given all the money they're making, that, that they are partly to blame. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say they're to blame. They're more the uh, lucky beneficiary of the fact that a uh, globally traded commodity like I don't oil want to get into how they made the money, just so that high. in order to look for alternatives, maybe they could and should use more of their own profits to do just that. I agree with that. And I also agree with the concept that we should probably try to level the playing field for renewable energy a little better by removing some of the subsidies that already exist for the oil and gas industry. All right. Well, we're all in agreement on that. Half a trillion that. dollars a year. Well, okay. Well, and, you, you, and, said, and no, look, here, the, you yeah. said, just explore this for me, because here's what I don't understand. Sure. This is for you, Seth. I'm wondering now whether when the oil companies are making money hand over fist, I'm old enough to remember when they weren't, when there was $10 oil and the Wildcats going out of business, uh, distributors merging. It is, after all, how Exxon and Mobil got together. And no one was crying for them, nor should they have, I guess, but they were laying a lot of people off. So would you return money you take off their profits when they inevitably lose money? I don't know about returning that money, but these windfall profits tax provisions are just that, windfall profits taxes. If the profits are not extreme and obscene, the tax What's obscene doesn't exist. But What's by obscene? the way, the What's era obscene? of cheap... 
What's the obscene? era of cheap oil, let, let's say, as some others have, and I'm not going to put a benchmark on it, let's say taxes when oil prices are over $80 a barrel. Look, here's the bottom line. The era of cheap oil, Look, $10, I know $20, $50, you don't, you is don't, over. You don't know OPEC, where, stop it. You have no OPEC, idea where oil is going. An OPEC like board a, member today said it's going to go up to $200 a barrel. Stop That's it, a stop high it. estimate. You're way off topic. But the era you, of cheap oil is actually I'm over. Actually, you. Chris is, uh, if he's saying that peak oil and we're going to start running out of oil, obviously with China you know and what India we're running and everyone out of? else we're, You demand, right now, you uh, are running are out of be there. All right. I'm, I'm telling you this, Yusuf, because you, you don't answer me. I'm going to cut your mic. Here's what I'm asking sure. you. Take a look sure. at the money they are making, right? You are yeah. saying now that anything over $80 is apparently an excess a, a non-right amount. And again, Neil, that, that was, now, that now, was now, a wait, four now, example. I don't care what calculator. Brainiac came up with that asinine sure. figure. Now that it's around 110, then the oil companies somehow are responsible for that $30 pad and must give back that $30 pad. I don't know where you're coming from. Not that $30 pad. It's when their profits are above a certain benchmark, as Senator Clinton just told Bill O'Reilly, there will be a certain extra tax put on that. What it is arbitrary. Is? Someone is saying, we think $80 is the pad. We think 110 is the gap between what is justified and what is outrageous. Again, Chris, this it, is it, for it, you. It, when, when we start, let's say Apple, we don't like them selling, what, five or $600 iPhones. We're going to demand they sell $200 iPhones. Is that next? What do you think, Chris? Uh, oh, sorry. I don't believe that uh, we should be looking at the oil companies in terms of uh, their profits on a globally traded commodity. The oil companies are not setting the price of oil. It's the international speculative trade that is setting the price of oil. So the profits that big oil might make at this point, I don't think are necessarily off the table as in terms of being available to invest in the technologies of energy of the future. Uh, I think instead of taxing income, and profits, we ought to be looking at ways to incentivize the fuels of the future. Well, we ought to be exploring, we ought to be conserving, we ought to be looking at alternatives, we ought to be doing all of the above. Absolutely. But then going well, back to people making money. And windfall money. profits, taxes, and oil companies should be directed towards supporting that alternative energy research. Look, the oil companies spend right. less than one half of one percent on that research. We have to move past oil. If the oil companies are going to help us out, in helping remedy the problems that they've caused with their profits, then maybe the government needs to step in and make them spend that oh money. My and actually, goodness. earlier Yousef, proposal I, I got, of, you know, of, Yousef, of Senator I, Clinton. I'd love to get you here and, and talk longer one time and, and just remind you of a couple of things, but I wish I had more time for that. Yusuf, I want to thank you. Chris, I want to thank you. And before thank any you. of you at home you. start saying, oh, Neil owns a lot of oil stocks, I own not a one. Not a one. Oy, well,